my hair hates me. Like the rest of my body. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jara here and we are back with today's new video and in today's new video we are going to be talking about how to help someone with anxiety. Good morning computer, do you do? I'm filming. You can continue to edit. Anyway, so I thought I would make this video because a lot of people have anxiety, a lot of people have panic attacks and you might know someone that has anxiety or suffers with panic attacks but don't know how to help or assist them and as someone who personally deals with panic attacks or anxiety attacks and with anxiety I like to have people who know what to do if something does happen to me or how to assist me as much as possible so here is my experience I'm doing a huge warning doing a huge like you know block just warning 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 this is to how to help with me every human is different in how they deal with their anxiety please talk to the person or ask them first hey am I allowed to talk to you about your anxiety and if they say what about just say how can I help you when you have an anxiety attack everyone is different this is how you can what I use to help with my anxiety it does not work for everyone. You're more than welcome to try it with a person, but if it makes your anxiety worse, please stop straight away. I cannot stress this enough. Never try and make someone's anxiety worse. Even if you're trying not to, if you're trying to make them feel better, if you can see it's not bringing out, it's not making them calmer or helping them out, stop straight away. Again, this is a big discrepancy, a big like, you know, warning, warning. This is how I deal with my anxiety. This doesn't work for everyone. I um, just wanted to stress that enough at the beginning of the video that, again, for the third and final time, this is what helps me as a human. Me, it might not help your best friend. It might not help everyone. But this is how it helps me. So I'm showing, telling you my experiences. I'm telling you what helps me as a bit of an educational pr purposes. So. When having an anxiety attack, it can become in multiple different ways for me. One of my ones, I have very minor to having very major ones. Very minor ones, it could be just as simple as what I tend to do is I completely zone out. I'll just kind of sit there and go... And even though I'm looking right at you, I am non-responsive, nothing. My breathing tends to go a little shaky, so I will go, I'll obviously make this more exemplified than it normally is, but normally it sounds like <sighs> it's normally not that loud, it's very like quiet, but that's kind of like my minor panic attacks. And for that, sometimes all I need is someone just to kind of put their hand on my shoulder or just go like, you know, you okay Jada? And, some, and if I go, if I don't it, it respond, chuck on some headphones, like just put some headphones on my head or plug in some earbuds and play some music. For me, my number one anxiety helper is music. I have a particular playlist that helps me a lot with my anxiety. So if you're a person that struggles with anxiety and music is a big helper, if you have access to their phone or if someone knows their password, get into their phone, play their Spotify playlist or whatever playlist they have that is with their for, to help with their anxiety Plug in some headphones put it on for me. This is a huge help because It my brain tends to overload and freak out a lot. So having music on I go All right, Listen to the beat, you know listen to the words and I focus on that and so it helps me to isolate focusing on one thing instead of being overloaded with everything else going on inside my brain so that's a major one that helps. Now when it comes to my major panic attacks, again, it can be shown in a variety of things, but I'm usually crying. I am, you know, freaking out and I'm very negative towards myself. I'm very, oh, so I had a huge panic attack recently where, you know, I was trying this thing in Bali called Aquanaut. So basically you put on a helmet that goes to here and it helps you to walk like, 
like at the bottom of the ocean. I put it on, had a massive panic attack. So I put it on and I was like, get it off, get it off, get it off. So I got it off and my vision was kind of a little blurry. And I just remember I was very much was shaky. And I was just like, I can't do it, I can't do it, I'm no good, I'm useless. <laughs> and I was very like agitated, like I was very shaky and negative towards myself. So again, music is a huge example. And if you don't have music, for me in particular, listening to a pulse, so putting my head against someone's chest and blocking the other ear is a big one. When I'm stressed, I tend to, from holding my hand, I will do repetitive motions like this. So just something as simple as you can see my hand just doing circular motions like that is a big one if I have my rings on I will twist and turn them a lot or if I have my necklace on I will like, chew it um, but if I'm having a really major panic attack just holding that and just saying everything's okay everything's all right be number one and I cannot stress this enough number one worst thing you can do is say to someone who's having a panic attack stop crying you need to stop doing that that's not on you need to stop it because that makes me go because when i'm in my panic attack my brain will go i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm useless i'm sorry i can't do anything right i'm sorry i'm a mess i'm sorry then i can't do anything perfect and and i always screw up and i'm not a good enough daughter and i'm good, not a good enough girlfriend or sister or i'm just horrible at everything i do and i'm sorry and it just makes me implode even more so even if you're wanting to say that, please say it in your own head because I cannot stress it enough. When people say those things to me when I'm having a panic attack, I'm just like, please get away from me. I'm sorry I screw up my life and that I screw up yours. But you know, sometimes all I need to do if I'm having a really bad panic attack is obviously music is my main one. Okay, also listening to a pulse. Another major one, if possible, is looking at water. I don't know what it is, but I'll show you an example. I've got my water bottle in my bag. So this is not one of the reasons why I carry a water bottle around, but it kind of is as well. So I have my water bottle here. Even just doing this, watching the water move, like that, is enough to help me calm down. Even if it's just sitting there, it's enough to calm me down. Drinking some water, if I can physically drink water or do that, then that's also helpful. But even just having water in front of me, it gives me something to focus my attention on. It gives me something to be like, right, see how the water's calmly moving. It's relaxed, it's fine, it's cold, it's nice, it's comforting. It's a huge help for me, and it's one of the reasons why I have a water bottle with me at all times, mainly because I was always told my whole life to keep a water bottle with me constantly in case you break down somewhere and you need water. But it also helps as an anxiety tool as well. Number three is if I'm at home and I'm having an anxiety attack, I will run to my room and grab my uh, like my childhood toy. It's a polar bear. I call her Polly, but just having her and holding her close because she fits perfectly here, so it's a comfortable holding position where I'm like, all right, I'm calm, I'm good, I'm safe. I'm doing that just something to hold is comforting because it's a nice feeling it works the same with a pillow another thing that also helps is wrapping a blanket around me just soft feeling things really help to calm me down so if you don't have a blanket around throw a jacket around me just making sure that as many sensory stuff is narrowed down as much as possible so that my brain can go all right I don't have to worry about this and that and this and that I'm going to focus solely on getting better and repetitive motions like that helps but making sure a lot of people aren't asking me questions they're like oh my god are you okay what's going on how can I help blah 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 because blah. then that freaks me out more because then I'm like I'm sorry I can't do this by myself and I'm sorry that I need someone to help me when I don't like asking people for help and it just gets dramatically worse so if you see me and there's no one with me and you know how to help me, aka putting on headphones, or you see I've got headphones on and I'm a little shaky, try not to disturb me as much as humanly possible. If someone is with me, ask them, like, without saying, is she okay? Try and be like, like, hey, how are you doing? 
and then if you they might go oh I'm good how are you and then like you know is everything all good sometimes I might freak out more sometimes I'm solely focused on the music that I can't hear you anyway so they might be like she's gonna be good she's good and sometimes that's enough to be like see I'm fine I don't need people's help and it calms down again another huge major warning this doesn't work for everyone this only works for some people if you're trying to figure out how to help let's say your brother your mother your sister your mister your best friend your friend your neighbor whoever and they have anxiety before they have an anxiety attack don't ask during don't ask after before obviously if you can before they have an anxiety attack ask someone to be like hey I was wondering how is it if you have a panic attack how can I assist you in that because I know for me as well I also have an app that I listen to which is has all the meditations on it and um, my uni friends all know that if I have a panic attack they know to put on head, my headphones on and put on music and get everyone to just leave me alone they know that's what they need to do for me that doesn't work for my best friend my best friend is different she just needs to be left alone and let her kind of mentally go through it I have other friends who need like to be in dark other friends need like constant like talking and reassurance and like soft repetitive motion and other friends just need like something to like play with everyone is different no one is the same when it comes to anxiety attacks so please check with the person before trying any of these okay that's all I have for this video I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna talk about a different one where I talk about how to deal with depression and what happens when someone is in a depression downfall and things like that. I really want to talk a lot more about my experiences with mental health. Again, as I was saying in the beginning or end of most of these videos, warning, it doesn't work for everyone but it works for some people. Anyway, dry out because in the next video, whoop, sarcasm out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay mentally safe, bye! Great person to check out on YouTube is Katie Morris, I believe so. Um, she's a mental health YouTuber. Ten out of ten would recommend.